good morning everyone happy friday uh, this week feels like fa went very fast so uh, today i'm heading out to uh, meet one of my friends Vimi, who sells uh, ethnic jewelry being here you don't offer these things in person most of the time it is always online so i'm so excited that i, I get to try uh, check her out page uh, find treasures in facebook ships all over usa so and for today's look i picked a red outfit and red and gold so the entire makeup look is going to be around that and this jimuka is from trinket shop i love hers too like i have a, a big collection of hers um, check her page in insta so first step i'm going to use a uh, uh, tan and pearlizer together for my face uh, because uh, uh, since I picked uh, gold and uh, uh, red I wanted the glow all over so uh, that is what I'm going to do so I'm going to just use a bit of uh, pearlizer here and there that way it gets mixed with the foundation itself and uh, it's easy to blend I always stipple it instead of wiping it down. I'm going to use the foundation itself on above my eyes. That way I don't need to use a concealer or a primer. So that's what, uh, because it's a simple everyday look I wanted to do. I don't want to be too uh, flashy. My eyes, I'm going to use French roast all over. Um, French roast is again a matte shade, which I am very fond of. It's a um, really coffee roast brown. Um, so it will be an everyday shade i uh, if you're a first time uh, shadow sense users i prefer you to start with the uh, matte color because matte colors will be easy to blend and they will easily uh, be adaptable and um, after french roast i'm going to use the rose gold to give that uh, golden shade um, Rose gold is such a glittery shade, so you just need a tiny amount for uh, to give that extra glow. Now that I finished uh, the rose gold, I have used uh, the green pencil liner to give a fun twist because that contrast is going to pop your eyes and it looks good when you have uh, that kind of uh, uh, opposite colors. Now that I have added the liner, I will smudge it out a bit to make it instead of looking too sharp. These liners go so smooth that you can use them as eyeshadow too. You can use it on top of your lids the same way and that just use a brush to smudge out and they become your eyeshadow for the day. So to bring both colors together, I'm going to use a gold pencil liner on the inner corner. Um, this is a quick tip you can use uh, for any color if you use a, a lighter color on your inner corner that's going to make your eyes pop so I finished it with uh, my uh, non waterproof uh, mascara uh, and uh, next last step would be obviously going with lip sense for today's color I have chosen the uh, red ruby uh, because it's the obvious choice with the, uh, the golden shimmer in it so let me go ahead and do, uh, I'm not sure whether I wanted to go with uh, three layers today. Uh, I may even stop with one or two. So I did finish uh, Red Ruby uh, with Glossy, but I just did uh, two layers of it because I felt uh, that's enough for today's look. Uh, this is one thing I keep repeating. Uh, it's always up to you whether you want to go with one layer or three layer because uh, it's going to anyway stay put. So let me repeat what and all I have used for today's look. I have used a uh, tan uh, um, Make Sense foundation with uh, pearlizer for all over my face and also my eyes. And for my eyes, I have used French roast and topped it off with rose gold glitter. And I have used the green pencil liner on my lower lashes and uh, golden la pencil uh, for my inner corners and finished it with my uh, non-waterproof mascara for the day. So that's all for today's look. See you all with a new content later. Uh, have a wonderful weekend.